It's finally arrived, the M12 cable stapler from Milwaukee. A lot of people have been waiting forever for this. I know I've been keen to get my hands on it. We're gonna rip into this. So this thing weighs two kilos without the battery. So obviously the two amp hour battery is what's recommended with this. You get 1200 staples out of one full charge of the two amp hour M12 battery. When it comes to the weight, it's exactly the same as your M18 fuel drill with a four amp hour battery on it. They do say that they can only take their own Milwaukee staples which these are the ones here. This pack cost me $48.20, I think, from Sydney Tools. So they are quite pricey here in Australia, quite cheap over in the US, I think $16 US. So that's a pretty big factor when it comes to these. So I would love to see how cost effective these are in the long run. The loading mechanism is really simple. You just got a clip on the side, pulls out. These throw in nice and easy. Takes up to 45 staples. So each one of these is 20. So you can put in two of those and throw in an extra five, supposedly, and you just clip it in. As you can see, it has got a light on the front, which is absolutely fantastic. That is probably a must on one of these. Then you've got the coil spring mechanism on the front, which actually dictates how deep these staples will go. So I'll throw a few in. That's what we're all here for. Push it against the surface. Pull the trigger. As easy as that. There's no recoil. It's uh, not a bad feeling. It's not too loud. And that's the staple there. As you can see, it's gone the whole way. That's as deep as they'll go into pine, at least. This is just some pine stud I had floating around. We'll go a couple. It's probably easy going forward, it feels. There's no bump style on this one, so you can't bump, uh, bump shot them. But you can see, you can definitely get a few out. You're not gonna be able to get that fast with cabling. And if you are, you're most likely gonna smash them through the cable, which you don't want. Oh, let's get some real stuff. Ooh. So this is the stuff everyone's wanting to see. Obviously hardwood, a lot harder by definition. So we're gonna throw a few of these into it. So as you can see, they are sitting proud a little bit compared to these. If you can see that, not sitting as flush, but realistically, I can't see much of a problem with that. That one's a little bit higher. We'll get some cable out. So we've got some 2.5 twin and earth. This is what we usually use here in Australia. It is stranded. So we'll throw that on top. As you can see, light comes on and that depth gauge starts to measure how deep to go. I can't really see much of a problem with that on hardwood. That's actually a lot better than I thought it'd be. So we go a little bit further down. Even if it's a bit kinked, straightens it up. That went on a bit of an angle. And as we go through, you can see that that's a little bit loose. I should almost be able to pull that out. Yeah, you can see it is fairly loose. Throw it on the pine. You can see it's just on it. Like that is absolutely perfect though. It's not actually damaging the cable. You can actually move it around, but it's not gonna go anywhere. I'm really impressed with that. It's quite nice. We'll go a couple more. Yeah, you're not really pulling that out. That's for sure, not on that. See how hard it is to pull out. Oh. She's in there. You're not pulling that off easy. Not with the cable. Pulls out easy with a hammer. Yeah. Or a pry bar. You have got that gap in there. So if you do need to get in, you can get in without damaging the cable. You've got two. You can see on the hardwood too. That's bloody perfect. Absolutely no problems there. The two on the pine. Same thing there, that was from before. No damage to the cable with two. Let's go three. That actually works pretty well.
three on the hardwood. Yeah, same thing, no worries. It's actually pretty good on the hardwood. You can't pull it out. Yeah, she's not falling out. Four mil. Yeah, that fits four mil very well. Go two on top of each other. Yeah, piece of cake. I don't know if I'll do three. We'll do three, it does it on an angle. Probably because the actual things on an angle go straight. Yeah, it's not a fan, but it'll definitely do it. That's, yeah. So it's not gonna hold comes right out. So I only do two four mil. The hardwood, yeah, same thing. She's fine there. Bit of six mil. Definitely does six. It'll just do two sixes. It's actually not too bad. I didn't think it would get the six. Got a bit of RG6, a bit of coax. We'll throw a couple of those in. Might do maybe two. I don't think I'd be doing much more than two. Oh, we're out. So you literally can't keep going. Once it's out, it's out. It'll tell you, which is fantastic. And uh, we just went through like five bucks worth of uh, <laughs> staples. Yeehaw. I don't know about that. I'm not really liking it. Am I pushing too hard? This last one's not as bad, but like that's, that's crushing your cable, maybe. So you can control it, which is interesting. So if I don't push it hard up on the timber, so before I was pushing down like that, if that, if that makes any sense. So just lightly, just so that the mechanism in the front is engaging which is, which is that part in the middle. You can see not enough on that one. So after a bit, you could probably get used to that, which is good. It's almost like a depth adjustment. It does make it hard though when you're crawling through a ceiling or under the floor, wherever you are, having to do that and maybe crushing the cable. So that would be something that they should really start looking at is a depth gauge adjustment so that you can actually adjust it for coax, um, maybe 10 mil, five mil, whatever it is, rather than just having to use that because you don't want to be crushing your cable. We'll go the coax into the hardwood. This might actually work a little bit better. Yeah, that's almost perfect on the hardwood. There you go. Yeah, I'd have no problems with that. You could uh, almost, yeah, you could pull that out. So let's go two, wish me luck. That does it, definitely does it. But once again, I feel like it's a little bit too much. So let's go a little bit lighter, maybe too light. There you go. I think after a while, I would get that down pat. That looks perfect. So let's go a bit of six mil earth. Yeah, that's, that's brilliant. It's actually a little bit tight. I thought it wouldn't be that tight on it, but I don't think it's doing too much of the cable. Into the hardwood. A little bit loose with that, but you, oh, it gets a little bit tighter. Got a bit of Cat6 cable. Go one. So for me, that's a no-go, especially coming from commercial. Um, I don't know about the resi guys. I don't know if they worry too much, but we have to get all our data certified. So firstly, it's not to be under any fixing like that. You need to be with Velcro. No clips and definitely no cable ties. But I know plenty of guys are doing it. It even says on their page that it's good for Cat6 cable. So we'll go again. I'll go a little bit lighter.
realistically, I would be happy with that through a ceiling. It's loose, but it's not going anywhere. So let me know what you think of that, guys. I think you can control it, which is good, because you don't want to be crushing your Cat 6 cable. Let's go two. I think it's going to be the same. Uh, it's not too bad with the two. I think I would go a little bit lighter, like that. So I'm actually getting the hang of it. Same thing on the hardwood. Yeah, it's good on the hardwood. It's actually perfect when it comes to the hardwood. It's not crushing it. So one thing people wanted to see was the staple going through a cable. Obviously it's gonna happen. It's not if, it's when, especially if you give it to an apprentice, fairly new. There you go. <laughs> it's actually not that easy. So if you put down that side straight on, oh, there she goes. So if that's not triggered, she's not gonna fire. So you gotta be half on it. There you go, you've got a couple. Pretty easy to go through and once you've done that, that's a dead cable. So that's got your belt clip, the larger clip, which is good. I like them larger. That feels pretty right. Easy to get on and off, but obviously if you're crawling through a ceiling, that's not gonna be much good to you. So let's go up in the ceiling. Just say we've run a cable through here. It's definitely no problems through there. You can guide it in. A little bit loose. I could definitely see it coming in handy when you're trying to get cables in these little hard areas like this. If you're trying to get down in here, you're not swinging a hammer. Most guys are just gonna leave it anyway. I'm presuming like this guy did. You can see the cables there. They're just hanging in the breeze. As you can see, I'm reaching in. You're not swinging a hammer. You're probably not usually gonna get a clip in there. But you can maneuver the cable around quite easy. Yeah, that's pretty good. So when it comes to that, I think it's uh, you're fairly worth it. Also, everyone's asking how close you can get to the wall. So I'm presuming this is what they mean. So I'd say fairly close. So that's pretty much how close you can get. It's not great because it's on an angle. You can get it fairly close. One last thing I wanted to try was putting the six amp hour on. Sort of sits a bit weird with the six, obviously facing the other way. I guess it might be in the way of your hand and your wrist if it was around the others, around the other way. But I wanted to see any difference on the hardwood which looks pretty much exactly the same. Yeah, it's about the same on the hardwood. Smashes it in on the pine. I'm thinking this thing is an absolute weapon. If time is a factor when it comes to your roughing, your installs, then I think this is definitely up your alley. So what do you think of the M12 stapler? Is this something you could utilize? Is it something you are already utilizing on site? I'd love to hear your thoughts, especially if it's worth it overall, if it's saving your time and money, and the comments will help other people for information when buying it. Also wanna thank all the new members to the paid membership on YouTube. You are absolute legends. You are helping support the channel and helping me to keep doing what I'm doing. I put a lot of effort into this. Like I've spent about $100 on everything to just do this video, which I most likely won't make back. But everyone that's helping to support, uh, thank you very much. And I guess really, I'm gonna get back into doing the renovation and hopefully soon, we'll be able to utilize this a bit more for the install. But until next time, stay addicted to tools.